Hey everybody, I'm Sam Feifel, editor of Spar Point Group, and welcome to Spar Vlog. You know, Spar video blog, get it? Anyway, it's March 19th, and this week I've been watching a number of 3D data capture initiatives that have been popping up in North American schools, with kids as young as kindergarten all the way up through college. 3D is infiltrating in a major way the way that we educate our kids, and they're now working with 3D on a regular basis. Now, I'm not just talking about the Alliance for Integration of Spatial Technologies at the University of South Florida, or the work being done at Colorado State with airborne LIDAR for cataloging uh, archaeological artifacts. Uh, I'm talking about stories like a middle school in Reddington, New Jersey, that's replaced its woodshop class with one focusing on 3D design and engineering. So instead of kids making birdhouses for their parents' backyards, they're designing solar greenhouses and wind farms in Google SketchUp. Now obviously this is design stage, but the instructor is saying that he can't even kick the kids out to go to lunch. They love it. And maybe you've noticed that the entire state of North Carolina will be providing ArcGIS to everybody K through 12. I'm a little skeptical since my third graders teacher can't even work YouTube, but I think kids have an innate understanding of geospatial technology and this will only feed their hunger for a concrete understanding of their surroundings. But speaking of third graders, why don't you check out this word from our sponsors. Thanks. Yeah, it's a Laser Blaster 9 million E57. It shoots out 9 billion points per second. I'm using it to make a great as-built model of this here parking garage. It's going to save us a lot of money and time. You know, I think it's really been worth the investment. My firm has been thinking about getting a laser scanner. How do you know which one to get? Oh, well last year I went down to the SPAR International Conference. They've got all the hardware manufacturers and software manufacturers in one place. So you can have all the conversations you need to have and judge which scanner you want to get. Plus, they've got a hundred speakers, so you can learn all about how to maximize your margins, how to get a good ROI, how to market your scanning services, and all the best practices that go along with a laser scanner. Geez, I guess I better go to SPAR this year. Oh yeah, everybody who's anybody in the 3D imaging industry goes to SPAR International every year. It'll be totally worth your time and money. Oh, yep, yeah, that was my daughter Ruby, and she's a star in the making. But she's not quite the star that the Grand Shoot voters are going to make laser scanning with a $67 million bond issue next week for Fox Valley Technical College. What's one of the major selling points for this new training initiative is that there's going to be a scan station 10 for police officers and other public safety responders to use as part of an advanced class. Now they're billing it as the only laser scanner in Wisconsin. I don't think that's possibly true, but $67 million uh, of a bond with laser scanning as a selling point has got to be a good thing. We've got more kids coming into the workforce ready and eager to be 3D data capture professionals, and that can only be a good thing. So next time, I'm Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of SparPoint Group, and thanks for watching.